So guys, the food has come and it looks incredible. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. Oh, look at this. <laughs> it's twerking. <laughs> yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new episode of Halal Munchies. We're right in the center of Birmingham, Birmingham City Center at Grand Central. We're at an establishment called Comptoir Libanese. So essentially, this is as authentic Lebanese food you can get. Of course, there is a bit of a cross fusion with uh, the Moroccan side, the tagines they also sell here, but no, traditional Lebanese food. I cannot wait because Lebanese food it is easily one of my favorite cuisines out there. You can really taste the meat. There's not too much of a spice kick going on. So it heavily relies on the cooking of the food and the cooking of the meat. So I've just had a fantastic warm welcome with the general manager he's been fantastic he's given me a menu breakdown of all this every single item and i have full i have full trust in him to get uh, he's ordered for us essentially the stars are already here so i'm trying to cut the intro short and i'll see you guys when the food comes it's already come so guys the starters have come right now and i'm gonna start off with one of my favorite potato dishes this is called sumac patata so very similar to kind of when i used to live in spain we used to have uh, patata bravas essentially so very very similar to that but this has got of course a full-on Lebanese kick to it and then we've again here I've got the starter just here yeah go ahead no 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 yeah all right yeah go so for I've it got a lemona here okay lemona then I've got a rosa nice and then this is the romana thank you so much thank you so the drinks have come and of course you know this is fantastic the two that really stick out to me is the hummus and the tabula because this is easily one of the most refreshing salads you will ever have so i cannot wait to talk in we've got the rose syrup drink so this one's called the rosa let's give it a quick uh sip so you are welcome with that very dominant rose flavor a bit like a ruhafsa this is fresh lemon and lime juice called the lemona it's fresh lemon and lime juice called lemona so this one actually is called the rumana pomegranate and orange oh yeah so all of them are very different very very different i'm gonna be a bit basic and i'm gonna say the lemona is probably my favorite so guys i've got cheese sambusek what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna give it a very good close-up it's just there look at that big cheese pool a very big cheese pool so guys with this one actually as you can see it's filled with uh, cheese but it's quite a, I thought I had a bit more crunchy texture on the outside but it's quite like it sinks in nice almost like a memory from mattress I think that's the cheese with that kind of kind of buoyancy it gives if that makes sense I'm getting dumpling vibes too mm. I'm getting a bit emotional now. I'm getting a bit emotional. I love hummus. I love hummus more than some people in this world. Is that a bit unfair? I don't think so. There's your hummus. Here we go. It's good. Oh yeah, it's really good. criticism is unfortunately the kind of bread it's quite hard it's quite chewy actually it's quite dense too so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mix up a little bit but I shouldn't no we're gonna stick to the script baba ganoush it's kind of like your aubergines tahini sauce if anything it looks exactly like um, the hummus oh okay strong flavor very strong flavor really good very refreshing I'd even go to the extent saying a lot of this is kind of like your palate cleanser it's that light it kind of coats the whole palate of your mouth really really nice you know what? we're gonna go for one of these 
Oh yeah. We get one of these too. Oh, pungent. Oh, the tabula. I love, 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 love tabula. So we'll get a close up on that first of all. And what you can see there is very, very sliced uh, parsley, quinoa. You get mint, onion, tomato, all that jazz. Here we go. And lemon. You get lemon too. The one thing I love is that the lemon is not overpowering the whole salad because I've been to places where they literally drown the salad in lemon. What we are going to do now is have one of the, my favorite dishes in the world. Potatoes. I absolutely love potatoes as I've mentioned. We are going to try these beautiful. Oh, we need some forks. Here we go, the sumac patata. Oh man, amazing. One thing that hits me straight away is the outer coating of the potatoes. It's not incredibly hard like a chip. So you know when you know when you describe chips as ah oh, crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside. For me, I think that kind of shell that the potato has is very kind of subtle. So you can almost sink into it. That's what I really like. It's not a crispy outer coating. It's a very kind of salsa with a bit of spice, with a bit of kind of garlic flavor for the for the seasoning on top. We are now gonna go into the falafel, right? Now falafel, again, I'm not crazy about falafel, but I really do enjoy it. Um, let's go in for a bite. Oh, wow. Mm. I like the potatoes. This has got a very, very, very strong outer coat and very crispy. Falafel will fill you up. So you see all the time when you go to like a kebab shop, for a vegetarian option, they have the falafel, right? So, assuming that the kebab will fill you up, the falafel most definitely will. That's very dense. Very subtle on the flavors too. It actually crumbles. It's a bit like minced meat. It crumbles in your mouth. So guys, as you can see, we have the mains. Oh my God, I took, oh my, where, where should I start? We have the beautiful lamb tagine. We have a mixed grill. We have a lamb and halloumi burger and we've also got the chicken kofta burger and absolutely beautiful spectrum of colors right now. Uh, look at this, first of all, look at the shop. Beautiful, isn't it? And of course, let's go to YouTube. Hello YouTube, we are still recording a YouTube review. So this one will be out very soon. So guys, the food has come and it looks incredible. Oh my God, I don't know where to start. You know, actually this time in front of me, we've got a beautiful lamb tagine, a very traditional Moroccan dish. So this place not only is kind of um, Lebanese, but it's a cross fusion, a little fusion with a uh, Moroccan food. We have a mixed grill. So this is quite a small mixed grill in my opinion. You get probably a, oh, what the light? Okay, I'm, maybe I just cursed it. No, this is a massive, <laughs> this is a massive mixed grill. No, no, no. <laughs> so this is, uh, you get a few kebabs, the chicken, um, chicken pieces there. I think another kebab just there. And then you get a bit of rice. First of all, it's beautifully presented. Unbelievably beautifully presented. Lamb and halloumi burger just here. Let's get that up there. Actually, open it for me. Let's see what we got in there. Let's see what we got. Is there a bit of halloumi in there? Ah, uh, there it is sitting there, sitting right at the bottom and it's soaking all those beautiful juices from the lamb burger. And then we also have a chicken burger, chicken shish burger I believe it is. Chicken. A chicken kofta burger and we have got a few sides that go with it. What was the size? Do you remember what they said the sides were? You've got the harissa sauce just there so it will be a fantastic meal. And this is the mains at Comtois Libanese. So guys, we're gonna try the lamb and halloumi burger. Oh, it's a juicy one. Here we go, bismillah. Mm. Oh wow. Oh wow, very juicy patty. I'm gonna go in again, because I didn't get any of the halloumi. Here we go. Just look at that. Beautiful, you can see every single segment right there. You can see the halloumi, you can see the salad, you can see the lamb, and you can see the burger bun. So, the first thing you're welcomed by is that strong smell of lamb, that kind of meaty flavor. The juiciness pops through very nicely, actually. Secondly, this one kind of caught me off guard, I'm not gonna lie. 
it's kind of that pickled flavor. So there's some of the salad in there, you've got a bit of pickles, so it gives it that pungent kick. So now you've got that kind of meaty, juicy flavor comes. What comes into the field then is that pungent kick from the pickle. Lettuce, of course, traditionally gives it a bit of crunch. And the halloumi, of course, kind of plays around in the mouth, walls of your mouth, that creamy feeling. So a lot of flavors going on there. Um, and the sauce is quite subtle. I'm not sure what sauce they've got in the burger, but it's very subtle. And then let's try a fry. Guess what? The fry is just a tad bit salty for me, that lamb is. Just a tad bit. Lamb kofta burger, we're gonna go in for a bite. What I like is actually, uh, look at the toast. Thank you. Chicken kofta, right? You can see they actually grill the bun there, so here we go. Okay. Very very different to the lamb and halloumi burger very different you know the chicken golf that gives it that kind of mince mince um, mince feeling uh, again a little pickle kind of pungent kick too but this one there's no element of salt whatsoever which is very interesting tasty very subtle on the flavors but for me a lack of salt if anything I'm gonna show you the harissa sauce it's this very kind of electric orange kind of uh, sauce I mean the expectations will be it's very spicy oh back of the throat business <laughs> Whoa. spicy with a kind of lemony kick you see little beautiful mini balls mini balls of um, lamb gofta I see chickpeas I see aubergines I see rice so you know what I'm gonna get all the above look so aubergine rice and then just there is the gofta here we go Okay, that is very tasty. I thought it would have been kind of cooked. Traditionally, Moroccan tagine is cooked in the dish, but I think this meal is 100% that kind of homely, kind of comforting, welcoming factor. Mm. Oh, there's a, there's a yogurt sauce too. That's a yogurt and garlic sauce. So now we're gonna go on to the big boy. We're gonna try the mix grill. Fork, knife, and belly is ready to eat. So this is their chicken uh, kofta. I'm getting those flavors. I'm getting the smokiness from how it was cooked on the grill. This one's incredibly subtle on the on the tongue. Very, very, very easy to eat. You're not, your nose is not running. The salt is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect on that. The highlight would be definitely that smoky charred flavor. As you know, they've cooked it on the grill. We're gonna move on to the chicken tauk. And for me, oh, it's quite hard to cut into. Oh, it's, yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm almost there. Give me a sec. So unfortunately, this is where I have to be critical and say that is unbelievably dry. So unfortunately, that's gonna get a thumbs down for me. Way too dry, way, way too dry. There we go, we got the lamb kebab. Ah, yeah. Ooh, very, very strong meaty smell, very strong. I'm buying into it. I can taste the kind of the softness of the onions that they must have obviously mixed in with the minced meat. What I haven't gone for is the rice yet, but I've tried the rice in the tagine. Really good. Mm. Cooked perfectly. Really, really good. Let's do a bit of a palate cleanser. Oh my god. Wow, the salad is beautiful. Mm. So the mixture, you've got goods and you've got bads. 
So guys, I have now got dessert. We're gonna start off with this beautiful looking dessert called Mohalabia, which is essentially a pudding. And it's a milk pudding. And of course, you've got your kind of slow cooked dried fruit and all sorts of spices going on there. And look at this. <laughs> it's twerking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, compose yourself. <laughs> and then we've got, of course, their cheesecake. So this cheesecake, I don't know if you can see just there, it's actually got a layer of sweet mango, you've got your pomegranate seeds, and you've got a dusting of pistachio. So, let's quickly have a quick taste there. I can't believe I haven't done this already, but we're gonna go traditional. I'm always gonna be part, try, oh, try and get part of, you know, the whole restaurant, the whole atmosphere, soak it all in. We've got a little hat, here we go. Maybe to the side? Oh, it is like, it's giving a little dance. Just like my little hat. We're, we're, we're all wobbling. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Creamy aroma to it too. Honey, it might be honey. That is really good. That is a highly recommend. That is good. Now let's move on to the cheesecake. It's got a beautiful layer of mango on top. Let me try and get a few pistachios. Let me get a few pomegranates. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. Oh wow. Cheesecake. Mm. Amazing desserts. So guys, we've just finished off a fantastic meal here at Comptoir Lebanais in Grand Central. I'm here with the general manager David. David, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. How about yourself? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. After that, after that very big meal, I'm very stuffed if I'm being honest. What was the main inspiration of Comptoir Lebanais? The main inspiration of Comptoir Lebanais was to, um, to give to the public the authentic Arabic Lebanese food um, with great customer service, serve nicely, fresh food, our company um, um, founder and uh, and chef, um, he just he made um, his uh, his life uh, goal to to be able to you know inspire people and bring them in, bring bring the Lebanese Lebanese cuisine into mm -hmm. into UK you know mm -hmm. like never been before and and pretty much he succeeded. You mentioned actually something very nice. You go when you took over the restaurant. What, when was it ranked in TripAdvisor? Uh, around sixty. So that's sixty. And yeah. Now it's yeah, around 40, yeah. So it was a major improvement, actually. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so it, re it really shows that, that you're kind of pushing that Lebanese cuisine through customer service. Too. Exactly. Besides the food, we already have the food. We already have a nice food, uh, very nice food, fresh. Mm -hmm. Our chefs are extremely ex um, experienced. They've been working for this brand, for this particular branch and company for, for many years. What are the best sellers? So when people are coming, you know, they might come from outside of Birmingham, all corners of Birmingham. Uh, what would you recommend to them? And just say exactly what you've recommended to me a few moments ago. 100%. Um, the best seller are the, um, our Meze Plaza. I would definitely recommend the Meze Plaza to start with. It gives you a, a bit of everything. You know, it, it, not just a bit, quite a nice, uh, quite oh, yeah. a nice portion from, from, from everything. And, uh, you know, we explain everything in detail if you need to be explained. Um, and you can, you can feel the freshness, you can feel the... Especially if you had a, a long day of work, or you know you want something quick to eat, you know is the, the best. It's is the best. Uh, is the best what uh, out there. The tabula. Um, oh my god, I got sorry. The tabula is amazing. Yeah, if you don't know, tabula is a very fresh, refreshing salad. Sorry, I cut you off. No problem. No problem. <laughs> we prepare everything fresh, uh, especially the tabula is prepared every day. In terms of uh, in terms of mains, yeah, I would definitely recommend the mains grill. Mm -hmm. Um, you have all the three, uh, all the three meats, um, uh, the chicken kofta, the lamb kofta, and the chicken sauk. I would definitely recommend the lamb burger, mm -hmm. lamb halloumi burger. Um, it's it's one of the most popular dishes that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, tagines as well, they're very oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, we have mm -hmm. some lamb tagines, aubergine tagines. Oh, as yeah. well, we have a lot of vegetarian dishes, a lot of vegetarian dishes or vegan dishes. Oh, yeah. You know, we're counting on it because obviously right now, you know, people they want to go healthier or they just give up to meat. I love your passion, actually. I love your passion so much about the whole kind of Thank concept. You. So let's finish off on a strong one. Where do you see this brand going? Come to our Lebanese from the longevity perspective i'm not sure that uh, comtoir's uh, goal is to you know open um, as many restaurants as possible but because of they i think they they just focus we are just focusing on food amazing good food customer service and they just you just yeah, 
this takes us there. I don't know mm -hmm. how to explain it. We, yeah. don't, we, not, we don't plan to open 10 restaurants every year, but it just happens because, you know, people want us. Mm -hmm. You know, you, somebody, you know, for example, somebody come to eat in Birmingham, they, you know, they ask us, please open a, open a, open a restaurant in Telford. You know, we don't have one of them. Please come. So, you know, yeah. we, we listen to the public. We listen to the public. We, we acknowledge the public. Yeah. And we just open where, where the public wants us. We don't open because we want to open there because people are really asking for us to go there. Company chef. A dream, okay. and it is the dream, yeah, to 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 make uh, Lebanese food while Italian food is today. So yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you thank for you so uh, calling us down. It's really, really very promising experience, and uh, I just have to point out because I don't think you mentioned this, the interior design is incredible, yeah. very authentic, vibrant, colorful, really, 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 really good. Thank you so much, and I appreciate it as well. Anytime, thank you very much. Thank Have you. a lovely day. Thank you. So guys, we've just finished off our meal at Comptoir Lebanais at a very, as you can see, very colorful and very vibrant restaurant. I'm gonna go straight into it. We're gonna dive straight into it with the scores. For me, out of five, based on my experience today, I'm gonna score Comptoir Lebanais a 3.7 out of five. So personally, I think there were goods and bads in the meals. For example, uh, the mixed grill wasn't my favorite. The lamb burgers, the chicken burgers were fairly decent. I really enjoyed the lemonades actually. So um, yeah, kind of an overall different kind of opinion. Service, service was started off very strong actually. We had a very, very good uh, opening with the general manager. And I think it's got quite busy actually. So it has been quite a few delays, but you know what? The staff are very friendly and very, very talkative. And of course, uh, the great entertainers. For cleanliness, I'm gonna put a score on the screen right now, if they've been rated by the hygiene standard. So for price, of course, you're gonna take into consideration, this is um, city center prices. So it will be probably a little bit more or double as the location is a bit more premium and it's bang on in the Grand Central. Of course, interior design is something I'm gonna most definitely talk about. Unbelievable really enjoying the elements um it's very interesting actually like there's a lot of traditional kind of ornaments very authentic that i'd actually give it top marks when it comes to adding that kind of dynamic within your dining in experience parking so i actually parked in a place i know the kind of restaurant the area grand central fairly well so we parked at edge of aston street car park so that is where we parked uh, and I think you can find the prices on the website. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.